we're at Locally Live. I'm with Karina and Chuck from Like a Villain. Hey, Chuck, how are you? Excellent, excellent. Enjoying good. the night. How are you? I am great. How are you doing, baby? I'm pretty good. How yeah. You? Um, how Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Okay, so tell me, Chuck, how is your new band, Like a Villain? Good, good. Uh, uh, just a, a bunch of guys who just want to get together, uh, have fun. Uh, the focus is really on, like, growth perception, maturity, uh, you know, we've all changed as people significantly. We've all been in different projects locally in Tucson and, uh, you know, we're just looking to make a, a, a positive impact through the release of Anger. So we're nice. doing great. I've seen you in a lot of different bands and you've evolved tremendously over the years. How is this band different from your past escapades? Uh, it's straightforward. Uh, it's more mature, you know, for me personally, like, you know, uh, my older bands, it was just like more of an immature mindset as far as what I wanted to do vocally, lyrically, where I was at with a person. Um, so with this band, I really got got a chance to like put forward all the changes I've applied to my life for positivity uh, and to release, like I find a good release, like I said before, for my anger. So it's just all about growing. It's all about, it's, it's, it's growing. It's, it's a straightforward, it's a much more mature version of what I've been doing before. Nice, Karina, what you got? <laughs> what inspires you? What is your greatest inspiration? What inspired you to become a musician? Because you've been a musician for so long. So what is your great inspiration? Uh, I just like writing fucked up shit. <laughs> writing fucked up shit? That's uh, you, know, you know, I love writing. I've always liked, like, it's always been writing. And uh, it's just a good way to release it, you know? Um, I just, I just love the energy. I love getting out there and just grabbing the mic and screaming and like, you know, being in a band is like a brotherhood. You know, it's like, it's like, ho like if you're a football player, you're like hopping in the locker room. You're huddling, you're bouncing, you're chanting, and uh, it's just a good brotherhood energy. You know what I'm saying? That's it's awesome. really good. That's very good. When you say that your lyrics reflect a lot of your life or a lot of like the band's life, or do you, do you write all the songs, or do you have? Does some of the band sometimes help you write songs, or is it just strictly you? Uh, I write a lot of the lyrics. Um, the guys are very cool, and they trust in me to like write something that makes sense for everybody. Uh, you know, obviously, if someone's not feeling what I'm writing, you know, I'm always you know open to uh, different perceptions on things. Um, but for the most part, you know, we just want to write about like perseverance, uh, achieving your goals, family. Um, you know, like. Being a man, you know, like, you know, we write adult music. Like, I like to call, like, a villain, like, grown man music. And not for the fact that, like, it's for one specific thing. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a mature version of what I'm looking to do and the messages I'm trying to get across. I feel like, you know, uh, a lot of people, you know, they like to write for the youth and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I like to do that, too. But yeah. I feel like not a lot gets written for the average, you know, single mom, single dad. Uh, the hardworking, you know, 30 year old that's trying to pay their bills who's spent all their money in college and can't find the right fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that that we can all do it. You know, we all fuck up. We all make mistakes. And it's all that's about growing, right? Yeah, it's exactly. all about growing. So you basically write about real shit. Exactly. Real shit. And uh, that I hate politics. Uh, nice. Of that, Most of, of us do. A lot of that. Yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> right? So. Where can where can people find your music? Where are you guys like what list all your social medias, all the things that you guys where can we listen to you at? Uh YouTube and Facebook, we're fucking slackers. <laughs> um we're really, we're really not good with social media. We need to improve. It's an area uh, that we're looking at. So if you know someone who runs social media, please contact me. Uh we're willing to pay. So oh. you know, anything like that. We need some help in that area. Uh you know, we're all just living our lives. You know, a lot of us are fathers or we're just trying to do our things, you know, so um, we don't get to spend as much time as we want to. But you can see us on YouTube. Uh, you know, we are getting ready to record our first EP, and I think we're going to really start making stronger online presence and pushes from there. You know, uh, so I would say you're going to see a lot more as far as like an online social media platform over the course of the next few months. We're going to really try and improve in that area. Very cool. Very cool, Therese. Yes. Okay. So you're going to do an LP. Are you planning on touring, or like what else is going on with you? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, Whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm down totally. For, you know, we just the ba the main goal is is you know like we've known each other for a while. Um, and sometimes just taking things so serious when it's something that you just love to do, 
we don't want to push ourselves to go like we we really enjoy the energy so we're just riding the fucking waves and we're just going to try and improve where we got to improve and if something happens let's go for it and if you know if we're just playing these amazing shows with all our friends and you know where we're putting the city on then yeah. i'm fucking cool with that yeah that's very cool yeah. Like oh yeah oh yeah all right so this is Therese and Karina. We're with Chuck from Like a Villain. Peace out. Peace. Locally live. Yeah.